The principle of segregation states that all individuals have two copies of each gene. When an individual reproduces, it passes one copy to each of its offspring. Each individual offspring is equally likely to get one or the other copy. The technique Mendel used to discover this principle is the monohybrid cross. Monohybrid crosses are used to study inheritance patterns of individual traits. One of the traits that Mendel studied was seed color in pea plants. The wild type seed color phenotype for the peas he used is yellow, but a small percentage have green seeds. What Mendel's work allowed him to discover is that there are two alleles for seed color and that the yellow allele, designated here with a capital Y, is dominant over the recessive green allele identified with a lower case Y. With two alleles, there are three possible genotypes. Since the yellow allele is dominant, the homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes both have the dominant yellow phenotype, and only the homozygous recessive individuals have green seeds. The common way to demonstrate the principle of segregation with monohybrid crosses involves crossing two individuals that are known to be true breeding for distinct phenotypes of a trait like seed color. True breeding is just another way to say that they are homozygous at that genetic locus. The two individuals used in this first cross are called the parental or P1 generation. The results of this cross can be shown using a punted square. The punted square shows that the true breeding yellow parent gives a yellow allele to all of the offspring, and the true breeding green parent gives a green allele to all of the offspring. Since the yellow allele is dominant, the entire next generation will be heterozygous and exhibit the yellow phenotype. The product of this first cross is called the filial or F1 generation. One interesting aspect of this cross is the fact that the phenotype of one parent completely disappears in the F1 generation, even though we know it passed an allele for this trait to all of the offspring. By taking two heterozygous individuals from the F1 generation and using them to do a second cross, we can see how the principle of segregation creates predictable genotypic and phenotypic patterns across generations. The offspring of the F1 generation is called the F2 generation. Each parent gives 50% of the offspring a yellow allele and 50% a green allele. Since these alleles recombine randomly in the next generation, 25% of the offspring will be homozygous dominant, 50% will be heterozygous, and the final 25% will be homozygous recessive. Giving a genotypic ratio of 1 to 2 to 1 and a 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio. This is the classic Mendelian pattern where breeding two true breeding individuals produces a generation in which the recessive trait completely disappears. All of the offspring are heterozygous for the trait of interest and exhibit the dominant phenotype. Performing a second cross with individuals from this group produces a third generation in which the mutant phenotype reappears in a ratio of three wild-type individuals for every one mutant, with the underlying genotypic ratio in this generation being 1 to 2 to 1. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it and giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment with any questions or suggestions, and if you want to keep up with the content here at Science Primer, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.